Hey everyone, welcome to the Front Row with Ed. My name is Ed Dabu. I'm a physical therapist out of Bellingham, Washington, and I just recently got these new shirts, and so I wanted to show it to you right there in Great Physical Therapy. Uh, pretty cool, yeah? So uh, today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about posture and sitting and standing and all those kinds of things. I get a ton of those questions every day from my clients, so I'm gonna try to address them in a short video. By now, you've heard about the ill effects of sitting. We weren't designed to sit all day long like we do with the laptops and computers and everything else. So what do we do? Standing all day long is not the answer either. So this is the advice that I give my patients that I'm gonna to give to you guys right now. Break up your work day into about 30 minute sessions. Within that 30 minutes, I want you to sit for no more than about 20 minutes. And then for about eight minutes, five to eight minutes, I want you to get up and I want you to stand. So hopefully you got a standing desk, or if not, do some work while you're standing anyway, or if not, make yourself a standing desk. And the last two to five minutes, I actually want you to move around. I want you to have small movements, big movements. We'll talk specifically about that as well too. First thing we talk about is when you do have to sit, what's the best way to sit to try to reduce the posture, postural strain on your lower back and neck. Here, I'm going to show you. When I sit with both my legs up front, my lower back wants to curl forward, wants to kind of collapse down. My neck wants to come forward, and then I'm constantly battling that to sit up straight and taller. An easy way to help that is to kick one leg underneath you. The moment I kick one leg underneath me, it's a whole lot easier for my spine to ma maintain a neutral position, and the neutral position is where it's the happiest. So that's what you want to strive for, is a neutral spine when you're sitting. What does it look like from the other side? Same thing, kick one leg back. And what you wanna do is alternate from side to side and make sure that you kick it as far down underneath as you can to keep that spine in neutral. Avoid that forward head posture. Ideally, you wanna keep that earlobe over your shoulders, so don't let that go too far forward as well. Now let's talk about a couple of basic stretches that I'm gonna want you to do during your work day to help break it up a little bit. Remember, you're sitting for 20 minutes, then you're getting up and you're standing and moving around for the next eight to 10 minutes so that within a 30 minute period, you're sitting no more than about 20 minutes. Let's talk about a couple basic stretches that I want you to do. First stretch is bringing your arm across your body this way here. You're trying to get a stretch of this lateral part of the shoulder. Bring it over as far as you can. Gonna hold that for about a 10 second count. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Next one you're gonna do is for the upper traps. Most of us walk around with a lot of tension in the upper traps. So the first thing is you're gonna squeeze all the way up and then consciously let it relax. All the way up again and then let it relax. And we're doing that between five to 10 times and then we're gonna stretch it, and this is what the stretch looks like. First, I'm gonna stretch my left side. So I'm gonna grab on with my right arm onto my left, and I'm gonna slowly traction it down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn my head to the right, and I'm gonna drop my head down. And that's just gonna give me a nice lateral stretch along the neck on the top of part, upper part of my shoulder. And I'm gonna hold that for a 10 to 15 second count. Same thing on the other side. I'm dropping my right arm, clamping it down with my left, rotating away and looking down and holding it for a 10 to 15 second count. Then I'm clasping my hands together, squeezing back and lifting up. That's what it looks like from behind. Clasping my hands together, try to bring my elbows together and then lift up. hands together and reach up and as you reach you got to tilt one way back up to neutral and then you're gonna tip the other way okay. the next couple stretches we're gonna do sitting down we're gonna sit at the edge of our chair we're gonna cross one leg over the other and we're gonna sit up as tall as we can Keep that hollow in your back and lean forward from the hips, and that's gonna give you a nice hip stretch. We're gonna hold that for about a 10 to 15 second count. Repeat that on each side. Ankle on knee, sit up as tall as you can, lean forward from the hips until you feel a nice stretch in the leg that's crossed. You'll feel it back in the hip area. Hold that 10 to 15 seconds. 
Now we're going to get into a rotation. You can cross one leg over the other and reach and rotate over as far as you can. Cross one leg over the other, anchor yourself, twist, and rotate over as far as you can. We just finished working on rotation. Now we're going to work on a little bit of flexion. You're going to drop your head down and you're going to slowly reach and stretch out that lower back. Back up again. We're going to spread our knees apart a little bit, hands going between your legs, and then you're going to reach down to the floor as far as you can, getting a nice stretch of that lower back. Now what we're after is a stretch and a hip extension. We've just been sitting for a period of time, and now what we want to do is a stretch, we want to go to the opposite position. So here I'm bringing my left leg back, taking a nice big stride, and I'm coming forward over my bent knee, and you should get a stretch on the inside here. If you want to add a little bit more, you can take your top hand, traction it over with your opposite hand, getting a nice stretch through the front. Don't fall over. What it looks like on the other side, take that right leg back, we're bringing that hip back into extension, we're coming forward just a little bit through here. You're going to feel a stretch on the top part of the thigh and in the groin area. You're going to drop down as far as you can. If you want more of a stretch, take that same side arm, lift it up. Take your opposite hand and clamp it and slowly reach across. Now what we want to do is work on spinal extension. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Hands on the small of your back. You'll take a breath in. Then as you exhale, you're going to slowly bring your hips forward, back to neutral. Breath in. As you exhale, slowly bring your hips forward. And we're going to spinal extension to counteract all the flexion we've been doing by sitting for so long. And the final two stretches I'm going to show you are extremely important, and that's for the wrists and hands. Take one arm straight out, take the opposite arm. Bend it down in a slight twist, and what that's going to do is you're going to feel a stretch right along in through here. Slight twist. Same thing on the other side. Drop your wrist, grab onto it here, and it's a slight twist until you feel a stretch on this top part through here. And then just go in the opposite direction. Bring the hand up, grab onto it with the other one, and pull back until you feel a stretch through here. What does it look like from the side? You bring your arm up, clasp here. Pull back with your elbow straight until you feel a stretch right underneath through here. Let's summarize real quick. The bottom line is, is you need a variety of movements during the day. You don't want to sit all day long. You don't want to stand all day long. Sit no more than about 20 minutes. Get up, move around a little bit, swing your arms, twist a little bit. There's really no wrong or right answer. I showed you a couple basic exercises that you can do, but the whole idea is, is to counteract what you've been doing. Go into spinal extension, go into spinal rotation, move around a little bit, rotate your head, neck circles, whatever you need to do, but just basically move your body a little bit. You'll feel a whole lot better. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, please also leave them down below. Take care.